YouTube, what up? It's your boy, Young Wavy, forever. And if you don't say forever, you ain't saying it right. So I came out here to give y'all another talk session. Yo, today's talk session is going to be about my products. First off, we're going to start off with my website www.exclusivenaturals.com If you're not familiar, go to it, check it out, get familiar. Uh, we're going to be talking about my conditioning oil to start off with. For those of y'all who haven't made the purchase yet, who haven't purchased this product yet, it's an all-purpose conditioning oil. It's going to provide your hair everything you need, from shine boost to moisturized hair, hydrated hair, Flexible hair, you know, manageable hair, soft hair, all these things that you're looking for, everything that we need put into our hair, replenished into our hair, especially after a wash. This conditioning oil is going to restore all of that to your hair. Now, the ingredients in this product is as follows. Avocado oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil vitamin E, castor oil, and an essential blend. It also contains olive oil. Now, if you aren't familiar with these ingredients, do your research first. Like I've always used to tell people, you know, before you buy something, do your research on the product. Do your research on the ingredients. See what the ingredients provide your hair. Now, like I said, it's an all-purpose product. It's an all-purpose oil. It can be used whenever, you know, to moisturize and condition the hair. It also has ingredients in there that will help seal the hair, you know? So, obviously, it's going to keep unwanted moisture out and accept needed moisture in. Uh, I like to use this product. This is the first thing that touches my hair after I do a washing style. After I've washed my hair, removed all product, dirt, buildup, anything that may have been in the hair prior to me washing it. Once I remove all the things and I've cleansed my hair, styled my hair, and I'm ready to now moisturize and condition it, this is the first product that goes to my hair, my, sh my conditioning oil. Uh, the oil is pretty much more so geared to a higher porosity. Now, I know a lot of low porosity will look at this product and say, oh, it has castor oil in it. It has vitamin E oil in it. It has, uh, you know, oils that aren't really geared towards a low porosity. But the way I've formulated the product, those ingredients aren't of high percentage in this product. So you won't get that unruly hair you won't get where the product is sitting on your hair it will penetrate it will do what it needs to do if used properly now being a low porosity most of the time we you guys we i said you guys uh like to add water to your hair prior to adding a product so that the oil or the butter or whatever it is gets into the hair the way it's supposed to the way the product is formulated is very lightweight. It's not a thick oil. Uh, it's more on uh, the light to medium side. Uh, it penetrates easily. You know, it spreads easily. Uh, gets into the hair. So if you're looking for something that's all purpose, something that you can put to your hair at any time to replenish, to basically condition, this is the product. This is my this is my exclusive natural conditioning oil. This is the go-to oil from my line. Moving on, I have a shine and seal oil. Does exactly what it says, shine and seal. This is going to give your hair a natural sheen to it. Not that excessive greasy look. Uh it's not going to just sit on top of your hair. Once again, this oil is made of lightweight oils as well. Not many heavy oils are in this. It's a basic concoction. 
grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, and essential blend. Now, my essential blend is made up of uh, basically a concoction of different essential oils that are meant to provide your hair a shine, a sheen to it. And just like my conditioning oil, the essential oils in hair are meant to restore, replenish, condition the hair. So back to my shine and seal oil. This oil here, now once again I've said I've used my conditioning oil after my washing style. This is the first oil that gets to my hair after my washing style is my conditioning oil. You know, once I've applied this and massaged it in and distributed it throughout my hair, I wait maybe about an hour, hour and a half to allow this product to penetrate. Once I know that that product has penetrated into my hair and basically is going to work and doing what it's supposed to do, I then top it off with my shine and seal oil. This now locks in that moisture and conditioning that I've put to my hair. It then now adds a shine boost to my hair, giving it that natural sheen that I would like. This oil also provides your hair the flexibility and elasticity that your hair needs for those brushing sessions that we put our hair through as waivers. As a, a natural hair person that would want to use this product, just know your hair will have the bounce, the, the pull, the stretch, the elasticity, the flexibility that your hair needs. Your hair won't go flat, uh, you know, unless you're not providing the hair what it needs when it needs it. But for the most part, this should provide your hair that elasticity. You will feel once you begin to style your hair, the pull that you have on your hair. You will also see the retraction that your hair has once you pull it. The oil is very lightweight. Uh, it's made up of oils that are geared more towards a low porosity waiver. And the reason why me being a medium porosity waiver works good for me when I use it, I've already conditioned my hair with, with ingredients and oils that I know work for a medium to high porosity waiver. So when I top it off with this, this lightweight oil, it's not heavy. Uh, it doesn't sit on the hair. It still penetrates. Uh, for a, a medium to high porosity, I recommend using this as a replenisher. If you know you've moisturized your hair already per day, the, pri the day prior, uh, and you just want to use something to replenish your hair, something that you know you're not going to put in your hair and it's going to make it over or excessively greasy, you want to use this oil. This shine and seal oil will provide you that replenishment that your hair needs. Uh, it's, it's good for a low porosity waiver as a good way to hydrate and moisturize your hair. Uh, if you're looking for, uh, something that's going to help relax the hair, uh, oil is always the best thing to go to. Oils, when they get into the hair, they tend to make the hair more relaxed. So if you're, you're dealing with frizz, you're dealing with, uh, over curled, you're dealing with unruly uncontrollable hair and you want to get it manageable these are the oils you want to go to these are the ingredients that you want to you want to put to your hair uh my next product uh this is this is my third product that i've made uh now i've been working on throughout for the past year working on the consistency of the product you know uh the formulation of, of ingredients are the same, but I mean, the formula that applies to it changes. Uh, during the summertime, I like to make the oil butter a little bit more solid so that it holds up during shipping. You know, we've run into a couple problems where the, the consistency of the product just didn't hold up against the heat. So I had to go back and reformulate the, uh, the formula. So during the summertime, I, the butter was a little bit more solid. So during the wintertime, I had to change the consistency. 
to how I wanted it because now I could send it out during the winter time and know that I'm going to be safe and know that it's not going to start to melt. You know, the butters in here are very lightweight. They almost melt on contact. So when it comes to solidifying your butter, when you're just using maybe two to three butters, it's all about the butter to oil ratio. So getting the butter to oil ratio at the right consistency is the key to the, the solidification of your butter. Uh, more oil compared to less butter, your product is going to be softer. More butter, less oil, your product will be a lot harder. So during the winter time, I like to formulate the product the way I started the formulation. During the summertime, I change the formula and I add more butter versus oil so that the consistency of the product is more solid. Uh, the butter itself, this is my exclusive naturals sculpting butter. This butter consists of mango butter, kapuasu butter, avocado oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, hemp seed oil, castor oil, vitamin E oil. It also has marula oil, glycerin, rosehip oil, and of course, an essential blend. Now, with all my products and all my ingredients, my essential blend is a very light scented blend. Uh, keep in mind, I'm working with essential oils. Now, essential oils aren't meant to be on the skin without being diluted. Uh, there's a certain ratio, certain percentage you're supposed to follow, especially if you're using the products on your skin. And nine times out of ten, as being a waver or anyone natural hair, you're putting a product to your hair, there's a chance that the product is going to get on your face, your neck, your ears, which results as contact with your skin. You want to keep in mind, as a bob, and this is for bobs out there, when you're making your product, be careful with your fragrance oils, your essential oils. Uh, you want to make sure that you're using the right percentage. You know, if I'm not mistaken, for hair, skin, body, it should be no more than a three percentage of whatever product you're making. Your essential blend, your fragrance oils should be only 3% when it's going in the hair or if it's coming in contact with the skin. So you have to be very mindful of that. Essential oils are one of those things that if it sits on the skin for too long in raw form or in a form where it hasn't been diluted properly and then it comes in contact with the sun or any type of uh, radiation or form of that, your skin can become irritated. Uh, you will begin to see burn marks on your skin, uh, discolorations, and things like that. So you have to be keen and mindful of what you're putting to your hair. Know the ingredients you're putting in your hair. Uh, my products have the ingredients listing, so you know what you're getting. You know what you're putting to your hair. Uh, this also, this ingredients list, it's key. It's very important. I've stressed this over the years as being a waiver or just using products in general. You want to know what you're putting to your hair because this is this is a good way of eliminating or knowing what's working from what's not working. Uh, the only way to know what's working is to know what you're putting to your hair. You know, go over the ingredients list of the products you buy. You know, have a breakdown of what each ingredient is does you see once you know that then when you go from product to product and they have similar ingredients and maybe one or two may be different you will know the difference in the product and the difference in your hair so you can know okay well this doesn't work well for me so i'm not going to use this no more i won't use a product with this ingredient in it or if this ingredient's listed first on a product which Nine times out of ten, the first ingredient on the product is what consists what the product consists of. The first ingredient, or maybe the first to three ingredients. For butter, it's usually the base. 
for an oil, the first ingredient or the first two ingredients are usually the base. Uh, and then again, that all depends on how many, how much butters you're using and basically really what your product is geared towards. You know, whether it's shine, moisture, softness, flexibility, elasticity, sealing, you know, you have to keep in mind an ingredients list goes a very long way. It is very important. It's very crucial to your hair regimen to know what goes in your hair and what works and what doesn't work. Now, once again, you can find these three products on my website. It's www.exclusivenaturals.com. You can find the description, or sorry, the website in the description box below. Uh, you have any questions, comment on this video. Uh, my Instagram will be in the description. My Facebook will be in the description. A lot of you guys know where to find me. Any newcomers coming on now and watching this video would like to give these products a try. You know, you can always check out the website, information, detailed description of how to use the product, what the product does for your hair is all on my website. You know, if you want any more in-depth questions answered, you can always hit me in my inbox, comment on this video or wherever on my social media sites that you can find me. Uh, once again, this is my product line. I've been using this product for now almost about a year and a half now nothing else has touched my hair uh i love the product i love the product because i've geared the product towards <laughs> my needs uh and like i've been in this game for a very long time and i've done reviews i've used products and products that have worked for me i've seen work for others so when i geared this product towards my hair and my needs I knew it would work for other people. You know, I have had a lot of customers. You know, I do go to barbershops and other places and sell my products and move my products there. Uh, my website is more so geared for you guys as waivers. Uh, obviously, my other customers have hit the website as well. Ones that I've done hand-to-hand -hand, uh, sellings to. So... Let's keep that in mind. Uh, if you have any questions, once again, hit me up. I'm here always and forever. <laughs> it's your boy, Young Wavy. Forever. And if you don't say forever, you ain't saying it right. <laughs>